Good morning. Good morning. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. our Sunday morning worship. We invite you to invite somebody else, amen, to call and share the broadcast, share the broadcast. At this time, we're going to have a special treat uh, by one of our brothers, amen. We're going to have a prayer by one of our intercessors, none other than Brother Ojo. Brother Ojo. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lady Hawkins. God bless you. Thank you for this divine opportunity you have given to me to pray for the people of the Lord. Father, Lord God, we thank you. We glorify you. Hallelujah. 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 King of glory, King of peace, we thank you. We glorify you. We worship you. We adore you. 
for everything for the beginning of another new week father lord god we give you glory for this prayer line father lord god for true life ministry international we give you all glory we give you all thanks in the name of jesus Christ, father lord god accept our thanks as lady hawkins as lady hawkins are going to lead us into this fellowship and into this gospel Father, Lord God Almighty, listen and let your wonders alone be done today in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your miracle be established by the hand of the man of God, the man of God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everybody right now listening to this prayer on this broadcast, on this prayer section, Father, Lord God, meet every one of them at the point of their need. As they listen, Father, Lord God, do not let their lives remain the same. May them, O Lord, let your peace reign in their lives and in their homes in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let their prayer be answered. As they start another new week today, Father, Lord God, all their heart desires, Father, Lord God, meet them at the point of their needs in the name of Jesus Christ. Any demonic attack or witchcraft power, them i want to come against them for that lord god intercede for them and let all those evil arrows back fire in the name of jesus Christ. let your peace alone the of thank you thank you jesus in jesus mighty name we are praying thank you jesus amen thank you jesus amen thank you jesus amen thank you jesus praying and interceding for us we thank god for you amen thank you for all that you do amen for the ministry god bless you god bless you amen for your time amen so let's go ahead and get started amen the sermon uh topic for the day is a breach in honor uh but we'll be talking about several things uh we've been searching for ways that we can become better ambassadors for jesus and so we discovered in the Greek word for integrity. Integrity is one of the ways that we can be a better ambassador for Christ. It has divine traits, integrity meant to be true. Our words should hold true. Our yes should mean yes. Our no should mean no. People should know that we are true to our word. Integrity means to be genuine. When we have a genuine sense of compassion to those uh, around us who are less fortunate, we tend to lend a helping hand to the downtrodden. Integrity meant is to be reliable. We are to be a person who brings reliable message of the gospel of Jesus Christ. We are to prove it. It's to be reliable based on how we live our lives. Integrity is meant to be valid. We cannot validate our own integrity. Those around us validate it. Those who witness our lives determine as to whether we are true, genuine, trustworthy, and reliable people. So we'd like to talk about honor. In Korea, in most places in the world, you have to be careful not to show soles of your shoes. You must never rest your feet on the desk or table. This is considered extremely rude. It says here, the Bible tells us that in Deuteronomy 5 and 16, honor those. Oh. Honor your father and mother as the Lord your God commanded you. Then you will live a long, full life in the land that the Lord has given you. We are to honor our parents. We are to recognize the great value that God has placed on our parents. Often a child would think our parents are being too harsh or unreasonable until God does a wondrous work and makes a child a parent. There was an old curse that would be placed on each generation of the children in the Turner household. I hope one day you will grow up to have a child just like you. It is a rather good curse. Reality is that we feel some parents don't deserve honor. Some parents have been abusive or neglectful. It is effective, affect our lives and spiritual well-being. 
That does not change the fact that God commands that we honor our parents. So we can honor. So how can we honor abusive parents? Here are some practical tips. If you have distanced yourself from them, call your parent and listen. Remain quiet rather than defend yourself when hurtful things are said. Let go of expectations that your parents will ever be the parent you wanted them to be. Accept them for who they are. Cultivate the attitude of compassion for the things your parent did right and express gratitude for even slight efforts to show love. Refrain from making disparaging remarks about your parent to other family members. Psalms 8, 4, and 5. What are mere mortals that you should think about them? Human beings that you should care for them. Yet you are made only a little lower than God and crowned them with glory and honor. We are to honor each other. We are to recognize the great value that God placed on humanity. Word tells us here that people have crowned with great honor, not just the rich people, not just the intelligent people, not just the talented people, but all morals and all human beings. First Peter three and seven says in the same way, husbands must give honor to their wives. Treat your wives with understanding as you live together. She may be weaker than you are, but she is your equal partner in God's gift of new life. Treat her as you should so your prayers would not be hindered. Men, we are to honor our wives. Men, you are to honor your wives. You are to recognize the great value that God has placed in your wives. You are to treat them with understanding. A man walking along a California beach was deep in prayer. And all of a sudden he said aloud, Lord, grant me this one wish. The sky countered and booming voice said, because you have tried to be faithful, I'll grant you this one wish. The man said, build a bridge to Hawaii so I can drive over anytime I want to. The Lord answered, your request is very materialistic. Think of the logistics that that kind of undertaking support requires to each bottom of the Pacific. The concrete, the steel, it would take. I can do it, but it's hard for me to justify your desire for worldly things. Take a little more time to think about another wish and you think would honor and glorify me. The man thought for a long time and finally said, Lord, I wish I could understand my wife. I want to know what she feels inside. What is she thinking when she gives me the silent treatment? When she cries, what does she mean say nothing to my question or what's wrong or how can I make her truly happy? After a few minutes, God said, how many lanes do you want on this bridge? Ladies, honestly, there are times where we really don't understand, but God has taught us to treat you with special treatment. If we do not, if we do not, then words say our prayers may be hindered. Our also, 1 Corinthians 6 and 20 says, For God has brought you with, with a high price, so you must honor God with your body. We are to honor God. We are to recognize the great value that God has placed on himself. God is valuable, and he realizes it. He says to himself, You will have to, no other God above because he is a jealous God. He is the creator of everything. He is in control of everything around us. He decides who will receive compassion and mercy. And he gives, he gave you health that you must enjoy. He paid a high price that you can honor him by service and righteous living. The lack of service for his church is to give a corrupt lust brings dishonor to him. And God deserves double honor. Here is another way we honor him. Some here we go. Proverbs 3 and 9. Honor the Lord with your wealth and with your best part of everything you produce. Huh. We worry about a person who brought us. Oh, that's something different there. First Peter 5 and 6 says, Humble yourself under the mighty power of God, that at the right time he will lift you up in honor. We are to honor ourselves we are to recognize the great value that god places on each of us god has an order to everything he does when he began to honor those things required of us parents humanity authorities church leaders marriages wives and god he will begin to exalt us in the heavens god will brag about us to the enemy he will rejoice over in the joyful songs the zephaniah 3 and 17 with the song of victory, Psalms 32 and 7, 
We have appointed season to the things of life. Let us not hinder our appointed season, rather live with the expectation of its arrival. Let's show honor where honor is true. Let's show honor where honor is true. So we just thank God for today's uh, message. Amen. We can go to uh, Hebrews, the 13th chapter, in the seventh verse. That was just an introduction about honor on today. Hebrews 13 and 7. See what it says. Seven. This is the, the King James Version. It says, remember them which have rule over you, who have spoken unto you the word of God, whose faith follows, considering the end of their conversation. And so on today, we're talking about honor, even in a pandemic honoring even in adversity how to uh your faith how to face adversity and yet still honor so one of the things that we have to uh, remember is that no matter what condition that you find yourself in, that we must remember to still honor God. God, this this too shall pass. This too shall pass. And we are not gonna always be in this state so we can thank God now, you can rejoice even now, you have victory even now, because God is, is, is making a way, God is, uh, already working behind the scenes he's already got something ready for you amen in 2021 amen god has already got things lined up for you don't be in despair because god is who he says he is he's a god he said he'll never leave you nor forsake you he'll he's there in the midst of the storm god is hallelujah the one who's going to bring you out and one of the things that's going to bring you out is that we have to remember what the word of God says. The word of God says, fear not, for I am with you. Fear not, for I am with you. So we got to trust God no matter what. Are you willing to trust God on today? Trusting him, believing in his word. Amen. Honoring God, honoring the leaders, honoring the women of God, the men of God, those not just... Uh, in, in church, amen, but we have to pray for our leaders, even in our government. We have to pray for our leaders, even in government, our local officials, our city officials, our current president, our president-elect, we need to pray for them. You have to honor, even though you may not agree with them, uh, you still have to honor them. The Bible tells us, amen, that we have to be steadfast and unmovable, even in the midst of climate change, political change, um, transition change, pandemic changes, we have to be, uh, we still have to honor the Lord in this. And so one of the things that God is helping us with is God is allowing us to help us to see who God is. What does, what does, what does God really want us to do? He wants us to honor him. Amen. Honor him. Don't give up. The It talked about integrity. Don't so don't cut corners, amen. Don't cut corners because things are getting tight, amen. Still rely and trust in him. And we have to uh, honor God even when it seems like it's all hope is gone. We have to honor the Lord and honor the things of God, amen, the, the, the principles of God. God is is who he says that he is. Remember that. If nothing else you get today, remember who God is. So we just thank God for you being with us on today. 
We appreciate each and every one being here all today. Um, if they desire prayer, our prayer call number is 910-324-4887, 910-324-4887. And then there's a conference call number. You can join us seven days of the week. That's Monday through Monday. Amen. That number is 605-313-6040. And the code is 294471-POUND, 294471-POUND. And the time is Sunday at 7 o'clock p.m., Monday at 12 o'clock p.m. Oh, sorry, Monday at 12 o'clock p.m., Monday at 7 o'clock p.m., Tuesday at 4 o'clock p.m., Wednesday at 12 o'clock p.m., Thursday at 7 o'clock p.m., Friday at 12 o'clock p.m., Friday at 7 o'clock p.m. and Saturday at 7 o'clock p.m. Also, for those who would like to uh, sow a seed, amen, this cash app is dollar sign, T-L-I-F-M. If you want to do a PayPal, PayPal is uh, truelifeifm.com. You can check under the more tab. If you want to use your debit card, not your credit card, but your debit card, over the phone. 910-324-4887. Amen. So again, those are our ways to give. If you desire to give today, we would thank you in advance for your liberal giving. Amen. We thank you in advance for continuously to support us. Thank you again and have a blessed Sunday. God bless you.